Greetings, and welcome to the Insights session with Canon Medical, where we offer an exclusive preview to some of our latest AI innovations that help to provide intelligent healthcare. We'd also like to invite you to peruse the RSNA virtual site where there's a wealth of information for all of our exciting new products. Please join us at canonrsna20.com. Dr. Kakigi from Kyoto University will discuss ACE in MRI, focusing on his experience in musculoskeletal applications. So thank you for watching this video. So I'm Dr. Kaki from Kyoto University. So today I'd like to talk about the practicality of the new Canon 3D MRI, a one centurion using real cases with a focus on musculoskeletal imaging. After that, I'd like to talk a little bit about the neuro and the abdominal images as well. Uh, the 3 Tesla Vante centurion, the top of the line MRI scanner allows for a new approach to high-resolution imaging uh, based on time-saving imaging techniques and AI-based denoising techniques. Okay, first, let me show you a regular 2D image. Uh, this case is a sure normal of the sign. So yellow arrow is a TBR nerve, and the blue arrow is a common perineal nerve. So the distinction uh, between TBR nerve and the common perineal nerve is nicely depicted on sagittal and transverse uh, tissue-weighted image. So STIR image is also very nice. Uh, the image is three millimeter slice thickness, but I think uh, uh, the nerve is uh, depicted well. So tumor appears so to be derived from TBR nerve and common perineal nerve. So this is another Shuranoman case of the elbow. Uh, this originates from Arna nab. Uh, the the Arna nab is uh, well delineated and can be traced easily. So as you can see, even regular 2D images can be quite high quality. So next, I'll show you a regular 3D image. So we scan this using 3D fast saturated MPB-like space image and created SRAM MIP. So I think you can see clearly to the periphery of the brachial plexus. So this case is a brachial plexus schwannoma. This image clearly shows which nerve uh, roots are associated with the tumor. I think it's a very beautiful image. So here, so let's consider why high resolution imaging is needed in the musculoskeletal radiology. For example, a uh, rotator cuff and the labral tears may be difficult to detect and diagnose with conventional resolution. High resolution imaging is necessary to facilitate recognition of injury pattern and location. So there are uh, many, many approaches to obtain the images to high resolution. So simply, so increasing the resolution uh, resulting in a decrease in SNL. So increasing the number of image acquisition average would improve the SNR, but would also extend the scan time. So excessive setting would not be acceptable in clinical practice. So surface coils have made it possible to obtain high resolution images, but they are limited evaluation with narrower FOB and do not allow imaging of the entire knee. So ideally, the entire knee joint should be scanned with a resolution equal to or better than that of the surface coil. Okay, here, so let me introduce you to the ACE. So ACE, so which stands for Advanced Intelligent Clear IQ Engine, is the world's first deep learning reconstruction technology and to be implemented in a product by Canon. So deep learning reconstruction is a noise reduction reconstruction technique using deep learning. So by adapting deep learning reconstruction to images with low SNR, so SNR can be greatly improved. So let me tell you about the denoising effect by ACE. So simply, so increasing the resolution would result in a decrease in SNR. So, but uh, increasing the number of the image acquisition average would improve the SNR. So, but it will also extend the scan time. Uh, 
So by using ACE, the scan time is equivalent to the average one. So in the SNL, it's equivalent to that of the average 10. The main feature of ACE is that extractively reduces the noise only. In general, so smoothing filter can also remove the noise, but it produces blur. The sharpness of the image is reduced at the same time as the noise. Uh, so the comparison with the original image shows the contour of the image has been removed in addition to the noise. However, so ACE shows that only noise has been removed in comparison to the original image. So as you can see, ACE has a noise reduction performance. Okay, now let's take a look at the difference in the region delineation uh, between 2D and the 3D images. Uh, this is uh, a case of the osteonecrosis of the femur and tibia. So red side is a 3D saturated MPB image like space. Uh, right side is a one millimeter 2D saturated proton density weighted image with S. So previously, a uh, one millimeter 2D image would be challenging, uh, but ACE makes it amazing possible. The 2D image depicts the bone marrow edema like this, but the 3D image uh, does not adequately depict it. Uh, my impression is that 2D image is better than 3D image in terms of depicting bone marrow edema. The scan time for 2D and 3D images is almost the same, uh, but the resolution and the tissue contrast in 2D image are better than in 3D image. Okay, I'll show you a one millimeter 2D image. Uh, this is a case of uh, rotator cuff tears and long head of biceps tendon injury. Uh, the original image is a colon image and we created such tour and transverse image by MPR. Thus, so it, it's impossible to create two MPR images with one millimeter size thickness and high resolution. Okay, the same patient, the subscapulous tendon tear is depicted in the detail on the coronal and the transverse image, uh, yellow arrow. So you can see that a wrong head of the biceps tendon is trapped within the tone subscapulous tendon. And the wrong head of the biceps tendon injury is depicted on the transverse and the sagittal MPR images, so red arrow. The same patient, a uh, full thickness tear of the supraspinatus tendon is nicely delineated on the coron image. Coron image also depicts the entirety of the injury of the long head of biceps tendon. So another patient, so this is a comparison of images of three millimeter and one millimeter with ACE in a case of the intra-substance tear of subscapulous tendon. In the case of the subscapulous tendon tears, three millimeter coron image can show the region, but usually just one slice. So it's difficult to diagnose the region uh, with certainty. Okay, however, so one millimeter coron image can point out the region with continuity here. So, and that's make a pretty confident diagnosis. So, of course, the region can be pointed out even one, uh, one millimeter transverse NPR image. So, if the region can be pointed out from the two different directions, so I think we can be more confident in the diagnosis. Okay, second case is a recurrence of the giant cell tumor of the tendon sheds. Uh, the region is uh, well visible uh, on some three millimeter image. This may be enough to evaluate it, but the region is more detailed on the one millimeter 2D image. So you can see the region not only around the tendon, but also near the DIP joint. So we can also see the width of the region on image. So this is a neat case. So you can see horizontal tear uh, of posterior root in the medial meniscus and the parameniscus cyst associated with tear on the coron image. 
And as you can see the metal in tibia here, so you may have noticed a reduction in metal artifact. So it may be because the increase of resolution in frequency direction reduces the pixel size and the visibility of the artifact. And decreased stride thickness reduces the stride distortion. So tear and the paramedical cyst are nicely depicted on the one millimeter transverse and the sagittal reconstruction images. So as you can see, the region can be seen in three directions. Okay, this is another knee case. The cartridge injury is clearly depicted on the transverse uh, MPR image. I don't show it here, so but in 3D, it's almost it's almost impossible to detect if there is an injury or not. So with regard to cartridge injury, I believe that 2D image is more clearly delineated than 3D image. Okay, so today so I introduced the usefulness of 2D thin threat image with ACE in the musculoskeletal radiology. The main feature of ACE is that it selectively reduces noise and it's independent of the examination part, sequence, parameter, core type, and contrast. So therefore, it can be adapted uh, various parts of the body and the sequences. So lastly, I'd like to briefly introduce our efforts and accomplishments as a musculoskeletal area at Kyoto University. Okay, first of all, let me show you to systemography in the neuroradiology. Uh, this high resolution image with ACE, so can be obtained in short time. It may be suitable for detecting cranial nerves and aneurysms. Okay, this study was conducted by Mr. Sagawa. He's a radiologic technologist at Kyoto University Hospital. So in a study on the depiction, diffusion tensor tractography in pyramidal tract. So diffusion tensor tractography in pyramidal tract in the average one with this was as well delineated as in average five. Just so it makes ACE makes it possible to depict tractography in short time. So next, I show you the abdominal case. This is the 3D MR cranial pancreatography scanned with breast hold. High spatial resolution is required to obtain the nice MRCP. So by using not only ACE, but also fast 3D technique, high speed technique, a nice image can be obtained in a short time, 26 seconds. So this is a case of the common bariatric stone here. So as you can see, the stone is clearly depicted and the mildly dilated intrahepatic bariatric is also depicted to the periphery. Okay, this is a case of the river transplantation donor candidate. So it provides the necessary information for transplantation, including the morphological and anatomical evaluation of the bile duct, portal vein, and the hepatic vein. So unlike MRCP, so high spatial resolution is not always necessary to obtain so MR photography and MR venography. So as long as the the accessory hepatic vein of five millimeter, five millimeter or more can be delineated. It's okay. So we can get enough information from MR photography and MR venography with even breast hold. Okay. This is a summary. So first, by using ACE, high resolution images with high SNL can be obtained without extending the scan time. So second, by using the ACE, it's possible to scan to the one minute images with high SNL in a practical time, so which had not been possible previously, and improve the diagnostic performance. So lastly, ACE selectively removes noise only, so it's highly versatile, and it is, it's expected to be applied to sight and sequence in the future. Okay, I'd like to thank uh, many people, so thank you for your attention. Please join us at Canon Medical's virtual booth at canonrsna20.com, where you can get exclusive insights into our latest innovations across all modalities and discover how Canon Medical can help you harness the power of intelligent healthcare 
with our collaborative imaging solutions that are made for life.